What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Rolls Rice, back at it again with another interview today. All right. All right. Today, I have the honor, the pleasure of interviewing this man. He used to be my coworker. Now we just brothers, you know, we're just trying to like make it make make our way to doing what we want to do. You know, here he is. Oh, going hammer. We call him. Oh, here he is. How you doing today, man? Ooh, 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 man, I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling quite fabulous, man. Just living this lavish lifestyle of mine, you understand? Nah, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, was, uh, what was that, like, uh, Rich Homie Kwan song? It's like, you <laughs> just uh, living this lifestyle. You know that song, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 man. That's one of my favorite Young Thug songs and Rich Homie Kwan on there, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's how I got introduced to um, Young Thug, too. It was like, that was like, yeah. Yeah, I think that was the first song I heard by him. Hey, man, believe it or not, Young Thug's actually one of my uh, inspirations, man. You know, it's one of my, uh, you know, one of my inspirations, man, in this rap game, man. You know, yeah. since I started rapping. Yeah, no, like, I, I think you you tweeted about that, about like, that. once or twice, you know? So, like, I, I, I kind of knew that. Like, I was like, oh, damn, yeah. Okay, I see that. I can totally see that. Yeah, well, you know, our sounds don't sound the same, but, you know, just as far as, uh, you know, uh, being a transparent of a vulnerable artist, you know? Yeah. Uh, he, he, he's really he's really paved the way for guys like me, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, like, he's... He's out there, you know. He puts himself out there. He like he just he doesn't give a fuck, you know. That's what I appreciate about him. Yeah. yeah. All right. So um. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask all the same questions that um I asked earlier before the interview got all shoddy. So um yeah. So really quick, what do you think um what do you think of the reaction that I did? Like I know I like I I felt like I I felt like I missed something when I was doing the reaction. Like I might have missed saying something or something. Man, honestly, I thought the reaction, man, to the song was a hundred percent genuine. I appreciated it, and mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I was I was saying earlier, I was like, man, I like that you look for uh, improvement. You know, you look for that room for improvement. Like it was a certain thing about the cadence that you had to run it back and hear the cadence again. You're like, wait a second, this might be a little off, and you know, like I said, that's that's very rare and hard to come by you know, in this uh, modern society today because everyone just hears you rap and then they just say, hey, man, you can make it. But they don't really try to big you up and tell you, hey, yo, man, you need to work on this, you need to work on that, and that's going to make you a better artist. And I, I saw in your reaction to the song that you were looking for those points to make, man, and I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I appreciate your hustle, you know, and I, it, it would be I would be doing you a disservice if I, like, just was sitting here in front and just be like, Hey, you're doing good shit. Like if I, if I, if I saw something wrong, I want to tell you, you know, cause I just want, I want to help you excel in your career. You know, you got to look out for each other, you know? Hey man, I appreciate it, man. I was watching the, I was watching your other interview earlier with uh, the guy with the hair. I, I forgot his name. I think, uh, what? was it backyard or was it vicious? Uh, vicious. Yeah. yeah that vicious, guy. man. And I, the whole time, I couldn't, I was just like, are those cassettes behind him, man? How many cassettes this dude got? <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> yeah. Man, dude, like, he's he's dedicated to his craft, too, you know? Like, he's, uh, like, um, he does, like, like hard rock, you know? Like, he's, like, he fucking, like, he goes at it, you know? But, yeah, um, yeah like, shout out to him. He's, he's, a, he's another real one, you know? Shout out to Vicious, man. He was very, he's very, uh, you know, welcoming. You know, I got a very welcoming vibe from, uh, you know, just this the, this platform in totality. Like, you know, I just feel very welcome, and I, I want to thank you for that, brother. Yeah, yeah. Vicious, if you watch this, you heard it here first, man. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, so, yeah, like, let's let's go on with preview. Um, so, yeah, why don't you tell me again, what was the story about um, preview? Like, what was, like, the story behind it? Because you gave an interesting answer before the other interview got shoddy. Uh, yeah, man. So, you know, just, um, you know, coming from my perspective, I used to always uh, think to myself, you know, how music has changed throughout the decades. If you go back to the 60s and 70s, the stuff that was on the charts, the stuff that was, you know, the hit singles, they were, uh, you know, men uh, confessing their love for uh, someone. 
mm. I will say, you know, and um, I, I noticed that it was missing in hip hop. It's been missing in hip hop for uh, for some time, man. So when I did preview, I wanted to come from the perspective of a man being in love. And, um, you know, I think, you know, if we can get back to that, you know, there's a whole lot of positivity that will touch down in today's society to spread because there ain't nothing wrong with a man being in love, you know? We uh, yeah. put the stigma that, oh, I'm a tough guy. I gotta be tough. I gotta be shooting guns. I gotta be doing all this stuff. And it's like, outside of all that, we go back to reality. And the reality is we get in our feelings sometimes. And sometimes we feel these feelings and get emotional, even being men. So, you know, that was uh, what inspired me to do the track preview. Yeah. No, definitely. Like, and like, I really like that answer. Like, um, when you when you said it earlier too, it was like you know a lot of people like, the uh, a lot of rappers nowadays like everyone has to like, it's it's hard being vulnerable nowadays. You know, especially now, as soon as as soon as someone's vulnerable, they get shot down immediately. You know, but like, there's like people like you with preview and even Young Thug who don't give a fuck about like showing like off their vulnerability. You know, it just that's, I feel I feel like that like it's part of being a man. You know that you have like these moments of vulnerability, you know? Exactly, man, exactly, man. Cause you know, we get, we get caught up in trying to live the things that inspire us and realize that we mm. only see the tip of the iceberg. We don't see the storm. We don't know what it's like to climb up the hill. It's only when we see them coming down the hill, it looks easy because it's always good and easy going downhill. You know what I mean? It's very hard to climb. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, well, my my next question about preview actually is um, like when you were writing the song, you know, you talking about a girl in the song, you know, um, was there any specific girl that you were talking about? Like, you don't have to say names or anything like that, or but like, were you talking about someone specific, or were you just in feelings? Uh, you know, I was at the time I was in a relationship with mm -hmm. a young lady. And it was funny because when I showed my mom the song, my mom was like, hey, you're talking about her. <laughs> <laughs> and it was kind of like, you know, I was kind of like, yeah, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to say yeah, but I also didn't want to say no. Mm -hmm. um, you know, basically, you know, that song is inspired by the totality of relationships and everything I've learned from relationships that I've been in. And, um, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it was, it was created from a space where I meet someone that I want to be with mm -hmm. and that I can't let my pride go. You know, yeah. I can't let my pride go, you know, and that drives them from me. And it's yeah, yeah. like, you know, you know, she's so pretty, you know, she could test my patience. You know, I want to keep her close because I love her fragrance. You know, those are the type of things that we love in relationships. We love cuddling. We love smelling the nice scent mm, from yeah. that significant other. And, um, you know, it's just like, you know, I used to uh, come and go. You know, I used to, you know, pop them and drop them. You know, I used to ejaculate and evacuate. That's what yeah, I used yeah. to do. <laughs> you know, you, you, got, you, got, you got that whole Netflix chill, like, IMAX, Climax mentality, you know, Hulu, do you? Yeah, you know, and, uh, you know, I got to a point where I met someone special and I, it, it changed my mind. It changed my perspective yeah. on what I really wanted, you know, uh, from, you know, because me, I'm a heterosexual male, what I really wanted from a woman in my life, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Yeah, well, with that being said, you made a song, I believe it was like a year, maybe two years ago, called Relationships, where you talk about like how you just can't get with relationships. Would you say that preview is like a sequel to that song, or is it just like maybe like something that you're changing up, you know? Um, yes, I would say I would say preview is uh, it's like a sequel because it shows the growth. You know, at first, you know, it was like I can't get with relationships, you know, it's pluses and some negatives but it seems like there's more negatives and yeah. you know yeah. that's always been my thought and my process you know when dealing with someone is like yo i'm gonna be sacrificing more at a time where i shouldn't be sacrificing anything you know and um yeah you know to get to that point to where you want to sacrifice 
be with someone. It, it's a special thing, man, and it's something that should be promoted and something that people should be proud of when they get to that point. Yeah. Yeah, because like, um, yeah, because the first thing I thought of when I was listening to preview, I was like, damn, this is kind of like a shift between relationships and now, you know, I was like, damn, it's a, it's a, it's more vulnerable, and I got like, I, I appreciated that, and that's that's the biggest reason I want to talk to you about the song on the on the interview right now. Yeah, man. Hey, man, and I, I appreciate I appreciate you actually doing the research <laughs> and, and, and having the knowledge to be able to be like, yo, man, I heard this song and I heard this song. Now, you know, that's, you know, that's why, like I said, man, it's very welcoming here on this platform. Mm -hmm. I can, I can sense how genuine it is and, and I, I really appreciate it, man. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, like I, I wasn't, I wasn't going to go into like, a, like talking to you about music and like not know anything about your music. You know, I want to, I want to like, I want to know what I'm talking about, you know, when I'm talking to you. So it's like, I, I don't sound stupid up here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, man, man, I'm telling you, man. I mean, have you have you thought about looking into any journalism? Like, because you know, you did some research, man. To find that relationship yeah. song. You really did some digging, man. That was some Inspector Gadget type stuff. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I, I I did a bit of journalism in high school, you know. So I mean, like, I I, I know how to like research a person, you know. Um, but like, it's so it's so it's so weird because like when I was doing that deep research. I was trying to find that um, EP you did with SNM. I think it's S yeah. SNM, right? I was trying to yeah. find that EP and I couldn't find it anywhere online. I, I I wanted to try to give it a listen, you know. You know, uh, yeah, man. It's actually called the uh, October Three Pack, man. The October Three Pack. Um, I feel like YouTube is ghost blocking me for some reason because I remember <laughs> at one point I used to type my name in and I used to be the only thing to pop up because I'm the only dude with my name. Yeah. And, uh, now it's like I type it in and it's like I don't even pop up. So I, I think YouTube has to contact my people, contact my manager. Yeah. And we need to have a, a discussion as to what's going on with yeah. my account. Yeah, no, like I 100% I, I agree because like I was trying to find majority of your music and I used to go and like now every time I type in your name, it's like Goonhammer now. It's like I don't know who the fuck that is. And I was trying to find like your EP. And I was like, I can't find it on YouTube or nothing. Yeah, man, it's it, it's really weird, and I've actually, you know, it's actually pr provoked me to start thinking about maybe a name change, name change, you know, changing my name, so it's like, you know, I get that same effect, yeah. but, uh, you know, it could be due to people paying for ads and stuff, I don't know, man, but, you know, if you type in Ogo and Hammer, it's going to ask you, did you mean Boone Hammer, or did you mean Ogo and Hammer, and you got to... You gotta type the, you gotta hit that oh oh go and hammer and then I pop right up, yeah. you know. Yeah, and but no, I mean honestly, dude, I I fuck with the name, you know. I mean it's like it like talks it like it says a lot about you as a person, you know, as a rapper, you know. So like I would I would I would be like remiss if you did change your name, but you know you gotta do what you gotta do in order to like, you know what I mean. So I mean, hey, it's not official, brother. It's, it's yeah. It's, but I mean. Like, if you can help it, don't change the name. I fuck with the name, honestly. <laughs> yeah, uh, man. Yeah. Um, really quick. Um, the uh, I want to I want to I want to bring up uh June because he was a feature on the track, you know. And I I was talking about like he's like that perfect like little compliment to that song. Personally, I yeah. I th I thought he was like great on that song, you know. So I want to talk about him for like a hot minute. <laughs> so um. My my question, my first question about him is that um when you're when you're writing a song, you know, and you want to like throw a feature on the song, how do you like how do you choose who you want as a feature on a song? Well, I want to start off by saying that uh, June he needs to get at me, man. Uh, we ain't in the best best terms right now. Nah, I'm just playing. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about I was about to say, oh shit, drama right now. <laughs> um. No, man, me and June, we've actually been friends going on 20 years, 20 oh, years, damn. man. So, you know, that's, that, that's my brother, man. So, um, the, this is, this is interesting about the song preview. We keep about preview. Yeah. June made the beat. He made the beat. Yeah. Preview. And, um, you know, I wanted him on the song and it's like with him and me, you know, our chemistry since we've been rapping and doing music together mm. really since 
you know, grade school, it's like our chemistry is always really good on songs. We have other songs together, and it's yeah. just like, you know, that's why everyone tells us. They'd be like, man, every time you guys come together, it always sounds sonical. It never sounds like off. One sounds better than the other. It always just sounds like a complete thing. So, you know, yeah. usually, I mean, you know, usually he makes and masters all my music. He's probably the, uh, you know, top, top two A&R in San Jose right now. Yeah. Top two and not two, I feel like, you know, and he's a... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, <laughs> he's, hey, he's a damn good engineer, man. The dude has evolved. I mean, coming from, you know, when we didn't have anything and we was in the living room uh, at his mom's computer and he used to make beats on the Free Loops demo and his mom used to come out and he used to have to stop making the beat because mm -hmm. he felt like, <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, it'd just be like, you know, and us making too much noise, getting yelled at to, yo, he's going to build a studio. Yo, he's built a studio. Mm -hmm. Yo, he needs all these uh, sound effects and all this stuff. And then to now where he's like in a, a complete professional, it, yeah. it's been one hell of a ride man so that day june man you follow him on instagram follow him on you know uh twitter snapchat the dude he's completely professional and um he also is you know you said something about his vocals yeah. <laughs> yeah. i did i did you know like i he i i, I thought he had them r&b vocals you know like i like he's, he's got the fucking chords man <laughs> Is that where is that where we at with June Sound? Is is this dude really becoming an R and B singer? I, I know he's gonna watch this, man. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> you know we gotta we gotta discuss is that day June is he in that R and B singer lane? Because I think when you said it, you kind of mm. spoke it into existence. Because I started feeling like, yeah, this dude does have some pretty good R and B vocals. He does. He does, right? I'm not fucking crazy. <laughs> like he he's got R and B vocals. Like he's he can spit bars, but like he's got the R and B vocals that he's not utilizing as much, you know. Yeah, this dude, and I'll start hearing the song different. I'm like, yeah, man, because I know this dude. I know from uh, when we used to rap, and uh, you know, um, you know, he's always been like, hey, man, I'm not trying to be one of these rapidy rap rappers. Yeah, and um, you know, I felt like we're in the time where rappers harmonize, so I always you know, pictured him as a rapper, but to now hear that different perspective and then listen to his music now, mm -hmm. I, I definitely believe, you know, this dude, he should come out with an arm B album or something, man. So yeah, yeah. Waiting like, on that, man. Me and Rolls Rice waiting yeah. on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, like, when he makes that record, I'm going to be right here to get, give it a review. All right. <laughs> Oh I'm yeah, waiting. man! I'm gonna get I'm gonna get him on your show, bro. I'm gonna get him on your show. You can interview him and talk to him, man. Dude, definitely. Like, it'd be cool to like fucking meet him. You know, like I I hear I hear a lot of his shit. You know, I hear a lot of good shit about him. You know, it'd be cool to like sit down and talk to him and get to know him. You know. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, used to, yeah. Uh, re real quick, I I want to get off preview for a hot minute. I want to talk about another song you did with him. Actually, I think I know. I think you know what song I'm gonna be talking about. It's actually my favorite song that you two did together. Like you talk about good time. You know? Oh, good time. Dude, like, <laughs> yo, um, when you were talking about chemistry earlier, like the chemistry that you two had on that song, like that was like a fucking summer banger. You know, that was like a fucking bop. You know, but like the thing that like tripped me out the most was the fucking music video, dude. The, the quality of that music video was just, like, fucking top-notch. And that was at the boardwalk, right? Yeah, it was, it was at Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Yes, sir. So how did you guys do that fucking music video, man? Because that, that music video is fucking crazy. I mean, June, he's always been the type, like, me, I would shoot a video with a, a cell phone, man, and be like, oh, it's for the streets. But he's always been the type, like, it needs to be done a certain way. It needs to have a certain type of uh, professionalism with mm. it. So uh, basically, yeah, man, it was his connection uh, with uh, 25 eight films. Uh -huh. 25 eight films. He filmed it. And uh, 25, I mean, he had, talk about Inspector Gadget. That dude yeah. was Inspector Gadget for real. He had all types of different stuff, stuff he could put on the car so it can record while he drives and drives yeah. next to the car. He had a drone he had all this stuff and it was kind of our idea to go out there and you know just be around the colors you know the colors yeah. and um 
Yeah, man. You know, there's, there's a lot of interesting stuff with that uh, video. We went to BevMo, uh, and we was filming inside the BevMo. At first, we were shy. We kind of wanted to, like, not get kicked out. Yeah. And um, June, as we're buying the bottles, he asked the dude, he was like, hey, man, this is during store hours. He goes, hey, man, can we sit on, can we stand on the counter and film this video? And the dude looked at us, and he said, yeah, go ahead and do it. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> no, like. Kinda- <laughs> that, that was that was like the coolest part. It was like you guys are just up on the counter. He's like, so one, one shot, two, like six. <laughs> I be lit like this, you know. Like I was like, that was fucking dope, you know. Like that the fact that you got to do that, that was like that was the fucking coolest thing ever, man. I was like, damn, it's like studio level quality, you know. Man, that day, that day was just like we were so blessed, man, because it just everything worked out in our favor. We went out there, we thought we were gonna be late. But then 25, eight films, he was kind of running behind too. So we were actually there before him. And then, you know, we got to do the stuff in BevMo. Then we went there to uh, Santa Cruz. And then I remember uh, as we're, we're filming uh, the drone shot, um, the Santa Cruz, uh, I'll call them Santa Cruz detectives. Yeah. <laughs> At the boardwalk, they came and they, you know, we're filming it and we're like this, and they go, you know, they start getting on the walkie talkies. It's like, is that your drone? And me and Drew look at each other. We're like, no, we don't know whose drone that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we got out of there. You know, mm. uh, we was uh, recording in the arcade. Mm. Um, we we were like filming a scene, and uh, one of the workers came, and it was in front of the bathroom. You know, the bathroom staircase looked kind of cool. And uh, she actually stopped going to the bathroom to let us finish that scene. So, you know, it was so much good luck that we had with that yeah. specific video, man. And I'm blessed to be part of it. Yeah, Santa Cruz is full of good people, you know. So, I mean, like, I, I, I like, like, it's it's always cool going to the, uh, did I say San Francisco or Santa Cruz? Oh, <laughs> uh, Santa Cruz. <laughs> okay, cool. I, th- I thought I said San Francisco for a hot minute. I'm going crazy here because, like, <laughs> Well, um, what you said Santa Cruz. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I just got I got a couple more questions I want to ask you. So I, I think I got like two more, and then we'll end the interview, man. And then um, so we were talking about how YouTube, like how like mu- like YouTube, like music is like kind of like shadow blocking you. But aside from that, you do got music on other platforms. You got Spotify, you got Apple Music, you got SoundCloud. Um, but um, and you, you got you got a, a like a good amount of discography on SoundCloud. But is there any project that you're like working on like right now? Like any like you working on like a full length album or like another EP or what? What do you got in the works right now? I actually got a uh, EP uh, standing by right now on SoundCloud, and um, it's called OMG, like Oh My God, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, you know, it's got like eight tracks on it. So mm. you know, and that one I just you know. I've been focused on life, so I haven't really dropped it. But, you know, after this interview and talking about it, I might just be inspired to just drop it for the people. And it's got, I'm telling you, it's got some music on there that, like I said, man, June, he's the best uh, engineer in the game right now, man, and and the most affordable. He works with people and stuff, and he got me sounding crazy on every single song. It's just, it's absolutely ridiculous, man, to where it's called OMG. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, when when you do drop that, send me a link and I'll I'll share it everywhere, man. You you heard it here, folks. You heard it here first, everybody. Check out SoundCloud. Check out his SoundCloud. All right. I'll post a link on my social medias. I'll post a link in the description when he does send that out. All right. Oh yeah. And then uh, last question. You know, you always got like every time I talk to you, you always have the most positive attitude. You know, as far as I know. You is one of the hardest working people I know, you know, because you, you do any music stuff, but you also like got the, like the, like you, you hustle, you know, like for like, for people out there, like who like need that motivation, what motivates you? What keeps you on that hustle? What keeps you on that grind and that positivity? You know, um, you know, that's, that's very, uh, yeah, that's very, um, abstract question right there man like as far as my hustle and you know just my positivity I feel like I'm more naturally like that just from you know the environment I was raised in and um 
I think you just have to get to a point of understanding, man, understanding that you're never going to be perfect, understanding that you'll never be able to satisfy everybody and that not everybody's going to like you in life, you know, and uh, it took me a while to understand that. And, um, you know, there's a lot of more work that has to be done, you know. Uh, I would say, in my own belief, that you work harder than me. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me, man? Like... Look at that logo, brother. Look at that logo. That logo is work. Okay? That look, that that's work right there. So, you know, um, it's kind of crazy, you know, hearing it from other people's perspective, how they view me versus how I view myself. And I, I view myself, um, even though I'm very positive, I I view myself a little bit lesser than what people tend to think of me, you know. Yeah, I know. And, uh, don't, don't ever get it twisted, man. You've got a positive attitude. You know, again, you're one of the hardest working people I know. Sometimes I envy you, man, you know, because I've been talking about, like, how I want to release my own music. I've been talking about how I want to do this and that. But you, you're actually out there, and you're fucking doing it, man. You know, so, I mean, to me, you're, you're harder working than I am, you know. But, again, yeah. like you talked about, it's all about perspective and shit like that, you know. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. So, I mean, but it, so, yeah. Don't ever get it twisted, man. You are you are definitely like on a hustle. You're on your grind, and you got a positive attitude. And I'm never gonna say anything different, man. Like I I fucking appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, like um being in my life. You know, like not 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 like you know like use 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 a brother, man. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, I remember that one time, man, when I had to change the diaper, and it was like I couldn't even uh, change my own, man, and it was crazy, man. I remember. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm joking, man. Yeah, yeah, hey, I was man. about to say, like, what the hell, diapers, man? I don't remember you having no kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good, man. And, uh, you know, I wish the best for you in, in, in this uh, journey that you're uh, expanding upon. And I see it already growing, man. So continue to water those plants and plant those seeds, man. And you will have a big valley of uh, fresh uh, fruit to bear, man. Yeah, I, well, I appreciate you saying that. And again, I appreciate you being here and talking to me. I can't wait. To, I, I can't wait to work with you again, man. So when you drop in that EP, I'm a, I'm a, I'll do. I'll give you another reaction or review. Um, yeah, and then we ought we ought to like sit down and just talk. You know, and just like chill out one day. You know. Hey, man, I'm open for it all the time, man, brother. Thank you for having me. Thank you for bringing me up, man. And uh, you know, to the people watching, man, you know, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, O Gone Hammer. Uh, you know, it's one word. I'm gonna pop up everywhere the first time you type my name. I'm gonna pop up everywhere immediately. I'm the only person with my name except on YouTube. YouTube, they're trying to ghost block me, man. So, y'all make sure y'all get in the comments and let them know stop ghost blocking. Oh, yeah, because I'm tired of those people trying to look up my name, look up my music, they can't find my music on YouTube. No, that's where I'm at. Okay, everybody, tell YouTube this is the man you want to hear, this is the man you want to listen to and see. Tell him. Post it in the comments right now. Tell them right now. We ain't ending this video until you tell them. Nah, I shot. For real though, I got you that I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, but you, be, you better you better, fucking go down there. You better, like, type his name. Say the man's name. No, you better you, you, you better just enjoy yourself and love yourself and treat yourself and not cheat yeah, yourself. And all all, all honesty, yeah, just do you. Just be be positive, be happy, you know. But like, type of (laughs) it. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Well, again, thank you very much, and thank you everybody at home watching. You know, I'll have all of his social media, all of his music posted in the description, so you know where to find it firsthand. All right. But until then, it's been your boy Rose Rice. It's been O Going Hammer. Oh no, you over here in my perspective. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and we'll see y'all on the next video. Peace. God bless. <laughs>